site take. Instead, it's going to be much faster as they look to fight on the site. Meteor good for one at least, keeping numbers in favor, but Dong, this man was impressive, able to constantly get behind enemies, but this time he's taking them head on. Three kills already, and EDG are back in the round. A fourth just around the corner with Munchkin so desperately low, but Dong falls. Texture putting up one hell of a fight. Connections, another with the headshot on Smoggy, and nobody 68 HP. Texture's gonna find it hard to get him dropped with two bullets left. He needs to be precise, and he has no idea where nobody has snuck off to. Texture creates some space to pop the reload. Back to six bullets. A bit more spam ability, and he's right in the corner! Only one shot! Into the next. Obviously, again, the real benefits of their composition it's one of is them. being able to execute onto that A site. But yeah, it also can't come just himself. This is the thing, you've got Karen and Lackey are both now terrified because they've got half shields. So that outlaw rings out and you realize we're in a bit of trouble. I, I wonder if even an element of that is looking at previous ice boxes and seeing this wasn't a preferred weapon. With Kong Kong down, that rifle can still be retrieved and can used still later be on. Retrieved and and used really, later you got to think about and really, damage. You got to think the about the game damage. Here. That's the name of the game here. Either way, either way, we are going to see them building up, we back, are into see them towards building up back again towards this A site again. Nice work from Haodong to, nice to, to, to at least be able to find one. And in this 2v4 situation, it is not looking good. It is not looking good. Really, really needs to get something here. Really needs to get something here. And now Karon is the only one remaining. And one versus three. Try and turn this. They planted in an audacious spot. I guess expecting him to come around on the flank. This man has been a real showstopper when it comes to Gen G's success. And he might be able to get a second player planting. Definitely got a little bit tight for a second there. Looking to try and isolate one of these jewels, faking out the sound. But now know exactly where he is. Needs to try and drop one of them. And Haodong is waiting on the other side. But this stage, so he's just going to have to run. And he will hightail it out, but there's been a catch in mid. Yeah, this is a big kill. Losing their utility, they're going to filter back in very quickly on the side of Genji to take that space, but well. the cost is massive. Two kills and a big player taken down. If Genji decide, or if EDG, pardon me, try to switch directions, Genji would be blind to it. Up closer, Texture's already used his dash. There's no easy way out. And with the shot, not wow. hit! Nobody is punishing again and again! Lackey at the last man standing. Once the, the Herald of this region. Hey, it was all we heard about again and again. Oh, wait till he steps on the international stage. <laughs> well, of Texture has rotated in, and in fact, Karen's on the way to help out. It's gonna be a stacked site, and Munchkin at least grabs one. This is what we needed to see, and Texture now canceled out completely. Yeah, second time he's lost it, but he was given an opportunity. Nice shot from Meteor, though. Gonna go back in with the Sheriff, still just means a one-for-one -one trade, but Karen starting to step up. This is like to the double as he gets a second off the back of the Guardian. And now that blade storm, at least a couple of knives should be online. Smoggy just waiting patiently. Little bro is gonna give his position away and eventually. Gonna get maybe even more than that. The only thing is the timing. There's that first, but oh! Smoggy comes around the corner. The hard check. Spike down A. Really saved the day with that one. Nobody's gonna recon out after dropping texture. Making it up top, but Caron spotting it. And for EDG, the spike is now down. They've got plenty of control. The B side is theirs. But what are they going to do with it? Nothing without that spike. It's Con Con. One versus three. 20 seconds left. And it seems like this round is already Timmy's over. Go. No, nope. the angle's a little off on Timmy. So he's sneaking his way through, but now he's being spotted. And with 12 seconds left, there is no chance to plant. They're just going to send one player. Well, actually, they're going to scatter in every direction, ensuring no matter what, yeah. he can't get all three kills. If it was anyone else, I think maybe there'd be a bit of confidence. You're going, do we want to face into Kon Kon? Actually, we're going to see a Hunter's Fury popped. They're going to try and get that opener, and they might just oh. succeed. Nice work to take out Karen. That weakens the defense a bit, but there are still multiple players here, and the hold on mid to make sure they can't rotate back. Well, that hold's just now given up, but they're aware it could still be online. Instead, they're going to commit towards the B side Beautiful rather than going flash. to A, and it's worked out fantastically. Just Munchkin left. He's got some support on the way. Meteor just making it through the holes, but look who's right behind them. Nobody snuck his way in, and he's grabbed a quick double. The lead now convincingly in their favor, and with a lurk from Chichu. Oh, 
Oh, Chi Chu's at least been spotted, oh, no. but they don't react in time. A free kill for him, but not the follow up. Meteor is at least able to keep this control as the lockdown now is a big threat for EDG. They're going to give up the site control. Spam's on the way as they retreat. Khan Khan keeping their back secure, but a Viper's Pit to nice. stop them from getting back into the site, to stop them from keeping their Viper's Pit online. EDG completely shut out of the A site. Now they've got to go looking elsewhere, but in fact, they've already gone looking elsewhere. They've pushed up mid, made it through the tube. They'll be spotted immediately by the turret, but with five HP here, a big threat for Texture. He's got an op that can one-hit them. If they've got anything, they can one-hit him back. Yeah, they still have the spike over on A, though. They are still going in this direction. Haodong needs to find something here, and he does. It leaves it down to just one player actually within the site. They have to go running in, though. Karam might be able to just ruin their day, and that's exactly what he'll do. Got isolated last time. In fact, he's playing anti-flash, ready for it, and will even pick off that first kill. He's done extremely well. They know he's here, but the backup is covering him until he swings into Khan Khan. A dangerous play for anyone to make. One that well, was punished that time, but the trade is good. Two versus four. Munchkin and Meteor extremely low after that engagement. But what can really be done by just a lone gun of Smoggy? 15 seconds or so to get that spike on the ground. And it looks like it will make it to the ground. Unfortunately, not planted. Well, here comes the Null Command. And assumably, the rest of the EDG squad will be following up with it. A full play towards the A site. Lakia seems to be point of contact. It's nobody to find one with Texture down. Munchkin soon to follow, but EDG find a roadblock. Lakia just the one before he falls as the defensive side is now locked out. Two versus three. Meteor, okay, he's caught nobody up top. The spike still not planted, but Smoggy finds both kills. Yeah, it's hard not to be drawn to. Oh, and he's dead. Well, that's about as poor a start as you could get for the poor guy. He's got the one kill, no assists on the back of it, but his teammates Going to pick up the pieces here in the pistol. Already finding a lot of value is Meteor, and he's got great. backup. Even if they take him down now that he's super low or hear his steps running away, they should not assume that there's another player around here. It's free for Texture. He's also not been off to a great start. A lot of whiffed up shots, but this one, it couldn't get any easier. There you go. Smoggy down. Nobody left. 1v3. Meteor low, but everyone else is healthy. And the time is on Gen G's side. This will be a... Impressive clutch, to say the least. He's got the first already. Okay, maybe there is a chance. A Meteor down below. Meteor still being so far up, or if he's trying to sneak behind them, which it looks like that was the idea. Not very successful. Oh, now you're going to have Lackyard looking to try and lead the charge. There was a snake bite down. I don't know if that's actually going to deny it. No, it isn't. Uh, far Managed to reposition, so that's something at least. Already, though, with that man advantage and Chichu on a fast flank. Bear in mind, because they lost Meteor, they don't actually have any flank watch. He is just walking up behind them. This is looking like some of the freest kills he's ever going to have. Manages the first, but now he's just a nuisance and continues to be. Khan Khan definitely saw him, and here comes that double flash, but he's managed to avoid both. And Khan Khan, you can't allow him to survive in these sort of positions. Just continues his aggression. Karen, the only one left. He does still have the spike. He's going to try and get the reps off, but Chichu picks him out of the sky. This drone's going to get so much information as well. Here comes the dash and the dash out of Khan Khan as well. He is repositioning and <laughs> caught falling out of the sky. Uh, Smokey's made it out. And actually, Karen goes down trying to kill him. Oh, no. Chichu has managed to get that kill. I think he was up top. Counter flash, but... It shouldn't matter too much. The HP is so much in favor of their opponents. I don't know how EDG are going to find a, a gap in here. Oh, Tex just kind of got lost a little bit. No cover either. Somehow we're back in a 3v3. Yeah, the EDG have managed to create their own opportunities. The real problem, though, is the time on the clock and the amount of EDG, or sorry, Gen G players tucked away. EDG make the call. They go aggressive to try and root these players out of post plan positions, but Meteor's got an angle, and up top, they've spotted that there's not one, but two players ready to pounce. Players slightly out of the circle, especially with the height of it. Flash in deep, but oh, no, he already saw him. Well handled to find the first. The numbers sit towards Gen G with the side under their control, and now the actual advantage, four versus three. EDG on the fight back. They've got a flank underway. They've managed to sneak their way up pretty close with that turret down. 
mean, they've got a lot of control, but Genji have to be aware of this. And even as the turret comes back up for a moment, it's too late. They've already oh. gotten past, and it's Khan Khan, the danger man. Now Operator in hand, Dash online, Bladestorm in the back pocket, and he's making his way forward. He's making noise while the rest of his team come in to fill the gaps, and the players spot it up top. Whoa. That's an ambitious way to try and take that fight. Munchkin's actually got an opportunity now, but Smoggy saves the day for EDG. He's going to play a close corner within this Viper's pit. I feel like they almost need this one just to keep their economy strong, and they are utility dumping already. Tex just going to pick off one, but so much util thrown in to clear him out. It's easier said than done, though. As he takes out Chichu along with it, nobody trying to clear this backline. Somehow, Khan Khan's found another. They may not get to use that ultimate at all, because they're being picked apart. It's left all on to Karon, but the time is ticking low. If he gets this kill, it's surely done, and it will be. But he's going to go down with it. He also doesn't know that someone's already crossed to the other side. So this this really is a very, very audacious oh! play. He's, he's dead. He's definitely okay. dead. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was maybe slight misinformation, but even still a filthy shot to open. The take in the meantime has come in onto the B site. <laughs> so what? No. A single bullet tap to Chichu just ruins his opponent. They're not even going to get the spike down, and now this is a problem. Things become so much more difficult. The spam oh, through from no. nobody is so clean. And now Texture, the hero, the man that has been highlighted throughout this tournament so far. He's got to find three to try and save them. The spike is down. Nobody has already spotted him on the angle. There is no hope. EDG come through. He's strong on these duelists, but oh, so is nobody. And he's going to go almost immediately. Does take one with him, though. Well, the Fnatic Classic finds one as Khan Khan escapes with his life. They made it here in some way. <laughs> They're living on. Well, let's see if he can find any more with his low HP. He's actually going back out to aggress for some information. This is a risky play, but he's cleared a lot of control. But it's up close Munchkin that I'm worried about. As the peak comes through, nice connection down to 47, but Munchkin finding that kill keeps him alive for the clutch. The one versus two that he finds himself in, a 3k to close this one out. And the first player he has to deal with is up in heaven. He hasn't realized that, and so that will be his downfall. On the other side to deter them even more. Smoggy still got the stun in back pocket as well, but it's not going to be used till they dive onto site by the looks of things. Howdong spotted and now challenged nice. by Munchkin. Good kill found, but it's Khan Khan that's returning. Like for like, oh, nade down nade. is perfect. It's uh, not going to be planted anytime soon, and time is running out. Just six seconds left with nobody all alone. He's not able to deny. Plant going down, but he knows where both players are, at least roughly. Snuck his way past around the back of the site. They don't know that just yet. But I like the idea to group up together and Caron before the heal even comes through. Oh, yeah. like they have so much utility for this take in. Already, though, great start. Meteor, even while blinded by the paranoia, is going to be able to find one. And he gets the second as well. The duel is finally coming alive. But here comes that showstopper. They have to back out. There's only 20 seconds left. Any time that could be bought could be paramount. It's done so much damage. 21. And well, now the HP healing back up onto Caron. He's going to TP to the other side of the map, but look how close nobody is. A flash just to try and catch him. He's going to be able to get the plant in, but look at where the rest of the players are. They've got to go sprinting to try and get back in here. It is oh, shaky from Chiju. I don't think it's going to matter, though. There's nothing they could do to stop this. It's a very peculiar round. This reacting to it, well, <laughs> apparently is okay. easy enough. All right. Texture just tanked a shotgun to the face. chinchu has got a 50-50. If he checks left, he... Oh, oh no! What? Oh, Munchkin! A chance for more as well. The shots didn't land, but... Oh, this, <laughs> this has been a bit of an unusual start to things. EDG have the advantage in rounds, but not in this one. The man advantage oh, was was to Gen G. Now it's just right about even with a rifle recovered by Lakia and movement towards this A site. But TP in, Hao Dong's in position to stop them from easily walking into this A site. And he's checking heaven. Lakia needs to win this fight on the way out. In fact, timing will be a key factor for him. The flash goes towards the elbow. It seems like he's safe to cross with EDG too far away to do anything at this point with Smoggy still in spawn. Again, the time getting a little bit low, but the aftershock won't be placed before anything else can be done. Lackey is still having his tiger. Oh, he is going to be able to spot the man in the corner. How though, not stunned up. It doesn't matter. Even still comes back into the trade. Smoggy with his full belt of utility still online. Hasn't had to use any of it just yet. 
Instead, he's gonna potentially just go walking through this smoke and lack here. Things even throughout, I think they'll be quite content. Already a fantastic start, Meteor has been great throughout the series on an individual level. That's a little audacious though. We'll trade out with the showstopper. We'll keep it in their favor and Kanka just goes through. The movement's sublime. And now just looks to try and get a little bit more. The Rolling Thunder is going to leave Texture completely stunned up, but he hasn't been spotted. One bullet is all he needs, but Khan Khan's there again. A third kill for him already, and he needs the ace. He's going to look to try and get it hard, but he's completely blinded. Already baiting them out. A second flash, and there is no hope. I've seen that one before, Mitch, but it won't happen this time. It's the site. Meteor is in position. Teammates coming in to rally alongside him. And the retake attempt from EDG, it's not going too well. Kills swinging in favor of Gen.G. Trade after trade. And a three versus two. Lakia, four health. But there's not exactly too much they can do to take him down. If he's hit him in those corners, maybe Chichu needs a miracle snake bite to land. And it could come in off the back of the plant. It's Lakia attempting the plant. But they don't know just how low he is. Viper's pit activated. And that's going to oh. even the playing field a little bit. It was so close to taking him down. But now Meteor in the right place oh. at the right time. Into support. Nobody already watching, but he doesn't get either. Luckily, Kankan Khan is there. Oh. And so is Chichi. Good shot to start and a follow up. That's sublime. 21 HP left. He's in danger, but he's got two players close to back him up. And with 20 seconds left, it's time to get that spike planted for Gen.G. The last player standing will take uh, Chichu down, but still three more, 15 seconds left. And surely this plant cannot be acquired. He'll tap it first to try and fade into a fight. It doesn't go his way. Thinks about going outside of it. That could be the end of his life if he did. It's all down to timing. He's won the first, but that's trades. all he gets. Yeah, really nice trades. Lakia was well aware, and in fact, Meteor almost gets to kill himself. Kankan, -kan, though, you can't give this man that much space. Quickly takes two. This round is starting to fall apart. They know exactly where Texture is, but can't quite connect onto him. The Tyke's gonna go through, but he runs through on the other side. Into the 1v1, but it's still Kankan. -kan. This should be an interesting one. It's right off rip. Both are you. A double kill, but there's still one man standing. Not anymore. This is Texture's round. Yeah. Anything you can do, I can do better. Spike planted. Now, well, for the remaining players, what do you even do? You've just lost the entirety of your B defense. Everybody was here waiting for this play to come through. Counter utility used to deny anything. That was the thing. The aftershock cleared a player out of position. It didn't matter. The paranoia wasn't even utilized in that initial take. To find any space here is gonna almost rely on a mistake. And while it, you know what? The somehow uh, Smoggy has made this interesting. It won't matter though. He started this round and he will end it. And yeah, not as pacey, that's for sure. EDG still just toying with that map control. It looks like I'll be taking the fight eventually. And it's Khan Khan and Smoggy to find the openings. Heaven completely under their control, or so they think. There is a fill back in by Meteor, but, well, it doesn't look like EDG have decided on where they're going. The spike is still in spawn, checking for a flank. And they're just waiting for Gen.G to make that move to re-clear the space. Player spotted up close, stun is good. And he's only bought himself a second as that smoke fades. Chichu lands this shot. Texture on 45, in a lot of trouble. Emerging from the smoke element. What? Surprise! How has he gotten all three? He was 45, now 15 HP with nobody all alone. The frenzy up close in heaven. He has thread the needle beautifully for that one. And with Texture being on 15 HP, to be honest, after what I just saw, it's anyone's game, but 14 seconds left. Nobody has to be so quick. And look at Texture, he's already here. This this could decide it. If he can speed his way through heaven, he might get the angle just after the plant. It all depends on where nobody's looking in the wrong way. Texture's got four. Oh, Tiger through. Now there is a judge coming out from Kong Kong. The push through on the other side, but the trades have come in. Kept things in their favor. They don't expect Meteor to be here. Why would you? Another man pushing into mid, and Karen's there alongside him. Gen G could give themselves a massive boost if they could take this round away. And while Smoggy, he has now got. He could stun all of them. True, but he doesn't want to give it away. It's a contact play into a judge. Tight rope. It's being taken. Textures dropped on B. Now you might start to think it's a B play. 
although they've just heard them on the ropes. Yeah, now you're sticking around. Meteor's here. He's ready to fight, although they'll give up control up top. It's that not only the scope, but the blade storm backing it up that's been activated in heaven. And EDG, I mean, look, they're playing blind no matter where they go. But as we can see, it might be the wrong decision. Meteor's already considering the rotate. 30 seconds left. I think we're looking at Khan Khan and what can he find here? He's been stellar. And that's already the star they were looking for, leading the way into the side. He doesn't know there's another man behind him. Will be taken out, but that entry does enough. Puts things into a 2v2. Meteor blade storm out, maybe trying to deny any sort of plant, but hasn't been able to. And the rotation coming around from Munchkin, you'd think he maybe wait a moment, but he just does it all himself. Almost disrespectful to his opponents. It's risky. Mokes could be gone within a second because this man is just not missing. He's now one away from texture, by the way. Both players have been unstoppable. They've not seen anyone advance, move towards heaven. Munchkin's in position. He's got one, but not the follow up. But Khan Khan has another challenge. It's Meteor Zop that's come through with a dash still online and a player sitting down below. That's Lakia, who seems to be destined to close this round out. There it is. Not just the round, but the map with it. A 13 to 5. What she said, she can come find me if she wants. Either way, you're not winning that fight, Tom. I know. I'll let you know. Just like but I wanted Khan to say Khan. it that bad, that I'm happy to be beaten up. <laughs> but just like Khan Khan there, not winning that fight as he gets dropped on that defensive side. An aggressive push that's now left Haodong in a little bit of an isolated position if he didn't have two players right behind him. It's a pretty heavy stack up on B. And after finding that opening kill in this direction, <laughs> especially if they took down Haodong, they might consider just full blitzing the B site. That seems to be the plan, Tom. But there could be danger here. Still a trap on site. It gets destroyed and the cam's gone. A lot of control. Smoggy, though. Know, oh, okay. Never mind. No, no. Never mind whatsoever. Trying to almost bait with the shots. Ow, oh, and they haven't actually seen it. Already first duel going their way, but nice work from Haodong. Smoggy as well. Combining. Desperately low on HP, but they've managed to weather the storm. Hold them back that little bit longer. Leaving just two players remaining. Make it one. It is a clean sweep for the rotate through. I, there's no way Chichu could have expected that. Yeah, it's the orchestrator, the conductor from the back of the gun barrel spotted. The start from Texture is going to make it so much more problematic. Clearing out these players from the back line is going to be impossible. Bear in mind, they've got snake bite lineups. They could use a gravity well, but I don't think they're even going to need it. Picking this team apart, Smoggy at least has found one, but here comes those lineups. Anybody even gets close to that spike, and they've already spotted both players. Meteor's blinded himself, but it doesn't even matter. And now the Grabwell's also caught out Smoggy. A clean take from Gen G. They run a nice position. Oh, no! He puts his gun away! And instead, well, a little bit later, but it still works out for Karen. Ah, there was a chance the that HP. he gets picked off, but that lurk was filthy. And again, look, they're just going to use the Cosmic Divide, get themselves the afterplant. And uh, do I believe there's any hope in the off -court? Maybe. They've at least eliminated one of the players, but they, I don't even think they realize just yet where everything's going down. Yeah, just look up in the sky, see that cosmic divide, that'll give it away. But they were looking to clear out any lurkers around, no one to be found. Rifle's potentially retrievable. Something. But if you're on EDG right now, the real concern is Smoggy and Haodong being so low. A bullet. <laughs> All that's needed to take down the final player, and it is delivered easily. That one, that Hunter's Fury to clear your way back through. The Null Command, uh, it's not in on time, and there's not really a, a lot of coordination for EDG right now. They're, they're still covering out some of this map. It looks like they want to go forward. There's a flank on the way from Karen. There's really not a lot going for this defensive side, even though it's a 5v4. The odds are stacked against them. Yeah, so much needs to happen, and I don't even know uh, if they're going to get anything again. Karen got caught with no gun in hand. Karen is just doing so much damage, devastation. Smoggy at least, it's just exit kills. Panning the stats because the round's already over. Jin Chi are running a clinic over on EDG. The team that didn't fear Jin G are just getting ruined by them. From middle and then pop. No. I, 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 he's out, okay, cool. Oh, oh no, no, he's not. <laughs> one of the best Hunter series I've ever seen. It just tagged both. That's ridiculous from Luckier. After a first map to forget, he has been fantastic ever since. Back with a vengeance. 
And look who it is they kill, Tom. That's your Viper's pit down and out of the round. No way back through for them now. Spike planted. Well, nobody's going to try. He's got some support, but again, there's a smoke to deny them a meteor in an aggressive position. Just doesn't seem to be missing a beat. Stolen away by Karen in the end, but an opponent. You can see just trying to make this awkward, try and make this confusing, and there's Texture. Even still, though, Khan Khan has managed to take him down. A trade, which I'll be honest, so far has been unusual. A deep mid position from nobody, but looks away. Just as they make the cross, the entire team comes out, and then Khan Khan peeks into the lot of them. He has had a cursed game so far. Finally, we see. Left. There's Cyber a cipher. He There's got a tag, cam. Tom. He got a tag. It's because they're finally going B. That doesn't happen very oh. often. It doesn't matter though. They're still losing every single fight ahead of them. Chichu probably gobsmacked that they've actually entered into the B site. I don't know where he's hoping to go here. They're so ready for it. He does at least manage to drop the player planting, but it's off. They've already planted. And while just as every other round goes, it hasn't been a battle or a brawl in this round. EDG have played a little bit more passive. It doesn't make a damn difference. They're being battered. Khan Khan again tries to be the hero, but this time and every time he has been shut down. How long, Chichu? Well, there's nothing they could do. A nice shot at least. He'll know where they are. But knowing and doing anything about it, it's going to be another thing altogether. The plant not the safest, but that's cover. They didn't even need the plant in the end. It is 11 to 1 that you can give chances to, and they have struggled on this defensive time before. EDG clearly not giving up just yet, but this man in pistol rounds is devastating as ever. The lurking Karen is all that remains. Watch your flank. It's a trap here as well. Just gets caught by that. There's the info to play with. It will be a legendary comeback. Khan Khan using Fnatic's pistol. He'll have to channel some of that energy and then some. <laughs> yeah, you need more than that. <laughs> Tuna need to spray away. Good spray through. It's dealing some damage. Texture's forced back. Caught by nobody. This is a good look for the side of EDG. Trading out one after another. We said they needed to win this bonus, and it looks like they've got it Not locked down. But Meteor yeah, has a free kill. And it's been left to a 1v2. Very winnable for Meteor. TP, I love this. I don't know if he's going to commit. I imagine it's a fake for info. And then he can sneak his way through to the site. But let's see. Both players sat back. He does take the TP. It's being watched by Khan Khan. Both players around this angle. It would have to be a mistake at this stage. And even Khan Khan, one of the most confident players, decides it's not worth it. Smart stuff for me. EDG. Starting to bridge the gap, and that's one hell of a way to kick off the buy round. I said there's always a worry if this man starts gaining confidence. Well, it doesn't get any better than that. Extra no dash. Uh oh. He's been silenced, suppressed, but he still fires back. 23 HP though, and the players are quickly circling him, encircling him, I should say, and finally taking him down. Munchkin and Karen to do it all. Nice shot by Karen. There's an opportunity. If he can buy some time, the flank will catch another off guard. And now it's winnable again. Gen G has suddenly found legs in the round, but a snake bite in hand leads to Munchkin's death. Karen has to clutch this alone. He's keeping his opponent behind the pyramid, but nobody jumps up top on the retake. But the fight is taken instead. Munchkin blinded up completely, but Khan Khan can't get it done with Karen on the side. Three kills quickly found, and even the blade storm frag on the flanker. Easy peasy for Gen G. National events. Now they look to beat the China number one, a team again who's been in the playoffs before, and this time it's looking like it might be theirs. Just two kills away from creating history for their organization within Valorant. And it's looked like it is done and dusted. Genji will be the second team to make it through to the playoffs.